Hey guys, in this beginner friendly tutorial, we'll go through the step by step of editing this image. I'll show you the full process from start to finish. And we know for the ado, let's get started. We're going to edit the skin. See this stuff down here? We're going to clean it up. And the method I'm using is super easy. You see? Poof, it's gone. And you see all the textures have been retained while we touch the image. And everything is super easy. You can see we also change the color of the outfit. Just going through all these methods so that you will learn a lot from the tutorial. All the discoloration down here, we remove them. If you watch this video all the way to the end, you're going to learn a lot. So stick around as we go through all the process from start to finish. I'm going to delete all these layers so that we can start from the beginning. This is the file that we are going to work on. We are going to crop 4x5 as per ratio, just like this. And now we are going to zoom in. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to duplicate the background layer twice. We name this median. We name this high. Now you come to the median, come to filter, come to noise, and click on median. Set the median radius to 8, now click on OK. Come to high, go to image, apply image, change the blend mode to subtract. The scale should be 2, offset should be 128. Change the layer to median. Click on OK. Now come to the blend mode. Change the blend mode to linear light. I'm going to group these two together, just like this. Rename it FS, it's frequency separation. See the before and the after. You see nothing happens because we've only separated the layers into the high and low frequency without altering the layers so that we can work on the median or the high. So right now we are going to turn off the high frequency or the median frequency. We are going to take our brush. We are going to set the flow of the brush to three. Make sure the foreground is white like this. And now use the hand picker to after bringing up the foreground and pick the skin, pick a neat area of the skin. What we are going to do, we are going to Clean up these patches on our model skin. So click on OK. And now you are going to paint on the skin like this. So now we are painting on the median layer, which is the color layer. So while we paint on it, we are removing this patch. It's very easy to do. So we just paint on the skin just like this. So see before and after, we are already getting a desired result. Sample from a neat area and paint on areas that have these color patches, sample for a neat area, paint on the areas that have these color patches, just like this. Take note, your flow must be three or your flow must be very low so that the effect is not too much and becomes. So you continue to paint gradually like this on every area of the skin. You sample from a neat area and paint on the rough area using the pen tool, the normal pen tool. Just make sure your pen is a soft round brush. Sorry. Using the normal brush, make sure your brush is a soft round brush. Sample for a neat area, paint on the areas with the patches, sample for a neat area. Sample on the breast area like this and paint all over to give it just the desirable color. Can sample for anywhere on the skin that is having a correct skin tone and paint on any other place that's having the skin tone that is not that nice, just paint like this. So look at the before and look at the after. Anybody can easily do this. Just see the before and the after, the before and the after. We are not doing anything to the face because all the colors on the face is okay. So we are going to close the FX layer. We are going to merge the group. We are going to merge this group. So right click, merge group, flatten image. To further smoothen the skin, we take our spoiling brush, remove any pimples on our face. 
using the spoiling brush, remove any pimples, remove any skin like this. Just fix the skin imperfection as easy as this. And now, to further smoothing the skin and make it look more polished, we are going to use the Autoface FX Action. So on the Autoface FX Action, you just click on the play button. And voila, this is the result you get. It automatically goes in and polish your skin while retaining the skin texture. So one click approach to get your skin retouched without destroying the skin texture is super easy. And you can get the Autoface FS action. The link is in the description. See the before and see the after. Now, if you look at this area, you can see that the outfit, the color of the outfit is bleeding on the skin. If you ever have a condition where the color of the outfit of the model is bleeding on the skin, just take your lasso tool, sample on the skin like this. Anywhere that that color discoloration is, just sample on those areas. Make sure your lasso tool is on this option right here, the add to selection option. Make sure it's not in the new selection, make sure it's on the add to selection so that I can make different selections on the skin like this. Now we are going to create a solid adjust, solid color. We are going to pick on the skin like this. We are going to change the blend mode to color and we reduce the opacity. See before, Let's zoom in closely. See the before, see the after. Let's zoom in very, very close you see. See the before, see this pink color that was bleeding from the model's clothes to the skin. See the after, it's automatically gone. This is a very powerful technique I'm showing you. I'm very sure you might not have seen this anywhere else. So if you've learned something new from this tutorial already, please like this video. Already subscribe because there are more to come. So right now you can see that our skin, the image is looking somehow too smooth. Yes, I'm going to bring more details into this image. We are going to pop this image. So we are going to take two steps to do that. For the first step, you are going to create a layer, new layer, create a new layer, change the blend mode of the layer to overlay, fill with overlay neutral color, click on OK. We are going to duplicate this layer, rename this Dodge, and we are going to name this Born. So to Dodge and Born the image while on the Dodge, you are going to take your brush. Now make sure the foreground of the brush is white. Make sure it's white. Look at this icon, if you click on it, it's going to turn the foreground to black and white, this icon right here. Let me make this bold. This icon down here, this small icon, like if there's any color on your foreground, like the red, if you click on this black and white icon down here, it's going to turn it to black. Now, if you click on this arrow, it's going to toggle it between black and white. So make sure it's on the white. Zoom to the face. Take your brush. Increase the flow to five. Make sure the opacity is 100. Now we are going to paint on these areas that want to brighten. Brighten the forehead, brighten the tip of the nose, the top of the nose like this. Brighten under the eyes, brighten here like this, under the chin, at the top of the lips, just like this. Now we are going to brighten the breast area like this. We are going to zoom out, we are going to brighten the arms like this. We are going to brighten these areas. Now we are going to brighten these areas as well. We are adding shine to the skin so that our image is now going to look more three-dimensional. It's going to pop. Now come to the bone. Just inverse this, invert. Make sure it's now black. Make sure the foreground is now black. Zoom to the face. Take your brush. Paint here to darken. Paint here to darken. Paint on the blush to darken right here. And we are going to zoom out to add volume to the hand. I'm going to darken the edges like this with just one sweep. I'm going to darken the edges. So now I come to the dodge, come to filter, blow, Gaussian blow. Set the blow reduce to 100. Click on OK. Now I'm going to the bone, come to filter, blow, Gaussian blow, blow to 100. Click on OK. Let's group these two together. Name it Dodge and Born. 
D, A, and B, like this, dodge and bone. Before, after, I'm going to turn down the opacity. I can open the group and turn out the opacity of the dodge, turn out the opacity of the bone. So, just like that, you see the before and the after. You have add this shine and this darkening effect to pop our image a little bit. You are going to go into the next step, which is going to bring more details. So, Control Shift Alternate E on your PC keyboard, Command Shift Option E on your Mac. Now, I'm going to come to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. Right here in the Camera Raw Filter, check for the Edit. This Edit, if you check on the Edit, you are going to see the Auto button. Click on the Auto button, and it's going to increase the dynamic range. You see what it does? You're going to adjust your exposure, the contrast, the highlights, the shadows, the whites, and the black. So you see before, you see after, it's just going to try to pop your image. Sometimes it's not going to give you a desired result. If maybe it over brightens your image, you can just open the adjustment like this, open a section and adjust the slider. But right now it's giving us a result that is nice. So we are going to leave it like that. Just increase the contrast a little bit. Now let's zoom into the face. You can bring more details to the skin. Come to the effect and increase the skin texture. Wow. Increase the clarity and the dehaze. Now zoom to the skin. Increase the grain. Increase the grain size. Increase the roughness. Now reduce the grain itself. Just make this adjustment while looking at the skin. See the before and the after. Wow. See how blurred the before is. See how sharpened and more realistic textured. The skin is looking right now this is superb please like this video if you haven't please like the video i really get happy when i see that the likes of my videos are going up so if you're learning any new thing from my tutorial if you've ever learned a simple trick from my tutorial please enable to like my videos i really really appreciate it really really appreciate it come to the color increase the temperature to pop the skin tone and make it look more warm now you can adjust the tint as well Increase the temperature, increase the tint. The values cannot be static. The values vary from image to image. The only thing you use to gauge is your eye. Just look at your, your image. Is this the color you want? Is this the color you want? That's just what you ask yourself. Ask yourself, what color do I want? Now go on to just make the adjustment. Trust the process. Post. As you continue to edit, you are going to improve. Your, you, you are going to develop a taste, a particular color taste. And when you develop that, nobody is going to tell you what you are going to do. Nobody is going to tell you that, oh, this is the best. There's no best. This is a creative process. And that's why everybody's image is going to look different. But once you are growing, your image is now going to look pleasant to more audience. So that's exactly what you are doing. So you can see the before and the after. It's looking super amazing. See the before, see the after. And we've already added these details, this pop and this beautiful color to our image, you are going to come back into Photoshop. See how much you've gone. See how much you've gone. See the before. See the before. See where we are right now. Wow, we've really done a lot in this tutorial. So for that color grid, we are going to create a selective color. The selective color is the most powerful color grading adjustment layer that is super easy to use. Very easy. So for the skin tone, you are going to come to the reds. The skin tone is in the reds and the yellow. So we come to the reds, we are going to make adjustment to the reds. So to make the adjustment, just move the slider to the extreme left to the extreme right. Which of the colors do you think is going towards the direction that you want? With that, now you are going to make the adjustment. So if you reduce the cyan, it means you are bringing more reds to your image because the cyan is the opposite of the reds. So we are going to add more reds. We are going to add green like this because red and green is going to give you orange, sweet orange. So come to the yellows. If you reduce the yellows in the yellow, if you reduce the yellow, you are introducing blue. So just to cool off the image a little bit, we are going to introduce some yellows. We can add magenta to the yellow like this or reduce it. But by adding it, I think the skin tone is looking more beautiful. And for the cyan, we can add more reds to the yellow or add cyan. Just like that to target the mid-tone of this image, you come to the neutral. If you are in a neutral color, any adjustment you make is going to be applied to the mid-tone. In the mid-tone, I want to add cyan, and I want to add blue, and I want to darken the mid-tone a little bit. 
So before and after, before and after. It's very simple to do. You can see how you're doing it. The more you practice, the better you get. So now I'm going to add a levels adjustment. And in the levels, this is the extreme black. This is the mid-tone and this is the highlight. So if you move the black to the right like this, you are darkening the image. If you move the white to the left, you are adding shine to the highlight. And if you move the mid-tone like this, you're adding white to the mid-tone, move it like this, you're adding dark. So I'm going to leave the mid-tone just like this. Now to make this effect affect only the luminosity, that is the brightness, without affecting the color, we are going to come to the blend mode and change the blend mode to luminance before and after, before and after. So you can also go on to add a color lookup. But before we do that, we can change the color of the dress. It's very easy. Let me take this opportunity to show you how to change the color of her dress or the color of any dress of your subject. To do that, you take the quick selection tool. Now click the quick selection tool, the text, the edges, roughly the text the edges. So it's a very fast way and just like the name suggests, it can quickly select areas that you want. So just by clicking like this, we are now selecting the edges so that we can select only the dress. So it's going to roughly do it. It's not going to perfectly do it. If you want a perfect selection, you need to go and learn how to use the pen tool. If you need a tutorial on how to use the pen tool, let me know in the comment section right now so I can make a tutorial on that. So after making the selection, you come to the adjustment layer create a hue saturation adjustment. Now click on the colorize and it's going to change the color. So you can adjust the hue to any hue that you desire. Like this, you can increase the saturation, reduce the saturation. You can increase the luminance, just like that. It's very easy, it's very, very easy to do. Now, if you zoom in closely, you can see that the selection is not perfect. You can take your brush, take your brush, re reduce the flow, Adjust the flow, just adjust the flow. Like 20, like this. Make sure the foreground is white. Now, paint on the areas that you want to refine the selection. To toggle between the foreground, press the S key on your keyboard. See, it's toggling between white and black. White, black. Black is hiding, white is revealing. So, make sure you're on the layer marks. And you, when you're on the skin, you turn it to black so that you can paint out. While you're on the clothes, you turn it to white so that you can paint in. So this is going to take a little bit of time, but once you've understand the basic principles, since this is a tutorial, just go on to do it on your own. Go on to do it on your own. It's not necessary for me to waste your time. If this is an image I want to post, I'm going to take my time. I might even use the paint too, but that is a very intense uh, selection. It's very precise, but it takes some time. It has, a learning curve, so you need to take your time to learn how to use the pen tool. If you need a simple tutorial on how to use the pen tool, please go to the comment section and let me know right now. So take your time to make this selection. Please, I would not like to make this tutorial unnecessarily long. So that's how you go about it. The color of the dress, you are going to choose any color you want by moving the hue saturation adjustment. By moving this hue slider, you're going to choose any color you want. You're going to adjust the saturation any amount you want. So that's how you are going to go about it. That's how you are going to go about it. You can now create a stamp visible layer, Control Shift Alternate E, or Command Shift Option E. Create a stamp visible layer. Now you can also add a color lookup. So come to color lookup, load 3D lot. Now go to the folder where your lots are. Just going to search for lots. I'm going to add any RAM downloads here just to show you how to add lots. So go to the folder where your lots are. Now select any lot and load it into Photoshop. Wow, this one is making the skin to look black. It's, it's not that nice, but you can reduce the opacity. If you want to have this desaturated look, you can see how this lot is affecting the image. Go on to add any other lot. I have any lots that I have. This one is better. Don't forget, you can adjust the opacity. I didn't actually use this lot. The lot I use is different. You can check the link in the description to get my free lot. Link is in the description.